morning and welcome to Touch of Kate's Cakes from the Rock Potter Court. My name is Mrs. Kate Eddie Itaba, CEO of Touch of Kate's Cakes from the Rock Potter Court. You're welcome to our beginners online class, also known as baking class. Because of this class, you'll be taught how to make four different types of good cakes. You'll be taught how to make your vanilla cake, your strawberry, your red velvet, and your chocolate. Now we're going to be doing our uh, strawberry and our vanilla. So we have with us here a mixing bowl and a wooden spatula. Now I'm going to be making use of wooden spatula and mixing bowl for those of us who does not have mixer, so that you don't say, ah, I don't have mixer, so how do I mix? So with just your bowl and your spatula, you can bake your cake from scratch to finish. So we have our mixing bowl now. This part is the part for the vanilla, but right? this one is the part for the strawberry. Okay, like as I was saying, we have our mixing bowl with our spatula. We have our egg, our eggs. We have our flour, already seed flour. Now this flour is 200 gram. We have our sugar. The sugar is 200 gram. We have our milk emulsion. We have our cream vanilla flavor. All these flavors, they are industrial flavors. I love using industrial flavors because just a drop of it, you have that exact taste or aroma that you want. Now this is remix, remix flavor here in Portacos. You have other industrial flavors in wherever you're watching from. So I think you just ask and know how to go about it. We have other bottle flavors, those ones they sell, but I don't really like them. I feel they are not really giving me good results. So that's why I stick to my industrial flavors and they've never ever disappointed me. Okay, so this for the vanilla. Now this for the strawberry, also a missing gold. We have sugar and flour. We've already seeded. There's this 200 gram. We have our eggs, four eggs, which is equivalent to 200 gram. We have okay. We have our this is our strawberry and mushroom. Now this is not color. It's not pink color. So people like ah, I want to make strawberry cake. They just their pink colors. No, this is strawberry and mushroom, like a strawberry extract. You know, I normally get it for remix too. From remix, I think they may have other company or other industrial flavors. Uh, flavor companies that produce this now this is strawberry cheese strawberry flavor too so we're going to make use of this in the course of this uh, making this strawberry cake or using this flavor in the course of making the vanilla cake now these are skill you have digital and manual scale so we're going to make use of manual scale maybe we are doing uh red velvet and chocolate by making of so you understand both in case you your either the manual or the digital so you know how to use it perfectly well now these are margarine these are margarine now these are baking powder this margarine is manda amanda amanda margarine it comes in carton is nice you can make use of topper you can make use of valido you have other good brands that are in the market the important thing is just try and get you to what works for you. Okay, these are baking powder and these are teaspoon. We're going to make use of a teaspoon because of this class. Okay, so like I said, this is a um, uh, floor 200. Now we're going to be working with 200 grams. Now let me tell you, when you're baking it, it ought to be one ratio, one ratio, one. When I mean one ratio, I mean your egg, your flour, your sugar, and your margarine, which is also called butter, but it's actually margarine. Now it's supposed to be same. Quantity. Now, if you're using 100 grams of flour, it should be 100 grams of butter, same as sugar, also your egg, your eggs. That's how you get a very good result. That's why people like sugar is too much. I'm not that sure. Once it's cake is sweet. If you don't want to eat sugar, if you want to eat from sugar, then avoid cake. And it's not something you just eat. Like you bake your cake, you finish the whole thing, you cannot. No, the little one slice you take will not really give you diabetes. Okay, so that's that's that. So now, I've measured this 200 gram. I've measured this 200 gram. Now this egg is four. We have four eggs here, which is, which is equivalent to 200 gram. Now we do we take one as 50 gram. You understand? One is only 50 gram. Now they are not small eggs, but not those big size. We have just medium size. You understand? So four medium size of eggs should give you 200 grams of egg. So now each is 50. What I'm saying is if you want to do like 500 grams, so what do you do? That's like, you're, you're going to make it of 10 eggs. Do you understand? So you're going to divide your 500 by 50, we're going to give you 10. Do you understand? So it depends on the quantity you're doing. So if you're doing 1 kilo, you know how to multiply. So we're going to be working with just 4 eggs. 
for the cost of each lamb because I'm doing 200 grams. Likewise for the strawberry. So I'm going to be measuring, measuring uh, butter for you to see. First of all, when you get a skill, try and study your skill. Now I'm going to do a short video later on how you study your skill so that you don't get wrong measurements. I'm going to do a very close video and a short one on that later, but not now, just watch. So I'm going to measure my butter. Now when I'm going to measure my butter, this is what I do. I make use of the bowl I want to use to mix to measure my butter. So what I do is, I have to put it first. Now when I put it, it's already giving me some grams. That's because this bowl has weight. So what I'm going to do, what I usually do is, I put it, now I'll set to zero. You see? So the weight of this bowl is no longer showing here. So that when I start measuring, if I'm measuring, it will start to come from zero to my 200 grams. So now you see, I've set it back to zero. So I'm going to start putting my margarine. If you notice, I'm not pressing my bowl. I'm not using my spatula to press my bowl. So yeah, I have 180. Yes, so now I have my 200. So this is my 200. So I'm going to do the same for this. Oops. And I set back to zero. margarine and sugar now so this is 200 gram i'm putting this in my 200 gram um, margarine this for the vanilla likewise this this 200 gram put my 200 gram sugar in it so i'm going to be creaming this for like 10 minutes after creaming i'll come back my students will be doing this for me while i'm doing this because we want us to do both together so i'll come back in 10 minutes and this like the cream you just take your spatula you see this like the cream Like 10 minutes then we'll come back okay so now you see i said after 10 minutes we'll come back so this is what we have after 10 minutes you see we've mixed this up this is just butter and sugar after 10 minutes after 10 minutes so you take your spatula just scrape them inside same for this You don't have spatula, you can use your knife, you can use your spoon, anything you know you can scrape. Don't say I don't have spatula, so I can't do my practical and send back to the group. So now see, remember we're using four eggs for each 200 gram. I told you one egg is 50 gram. So what you do is after you've mixed for like 10 minutes, you take one egg. Now this one strawberry, you just break one egg inside. This for the strawberry. I'll do the same for the vanilla. I break one egg inside so i'm going to mix again for another five minutes so when i'm done i'll come back so you see this is what we have after turning for five minutes so now we've turned for like 15 minutes with one egg inside same for the strawberry so we're still going to break another egg from the strawberry same for this now you see the way i'm breaking my eggs that's because i'm very sure my eggs are fresh if you are not sure of your eggs, it's actually advisable to bake with, bake with your very fresh eggs. It helps in your cake too. But if you are not sure of your eggs and that's what you have, please don't break direct into your, your butter and sugar mixture. Because you might just break one bag and ruin all your time of labor. Let me use that one. So please, always be very sure that your eggs are fresh before breaking. Else, you get a small bowl, break one on the bowl before turning. To be very sure it's good before turning. So I'm going to turn again for another five minutes then we'll get back. 
Si vous avez un peu de temps, vous avez un peu de temps. 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 Now see, if you're doing a larger quantity, like you're doing one kilo, which you're going to make it of 20 eggs, you can mix your butter and sugar with about 8 eggs. Do you understand? So don't say because I use only two, you must use only two. No, because of the quantity we're doing, just 100 grams. Good. So now, I'm going to put my baking powder in my flour. Remember I said to you, we've already sieved our flour. So I'm going to put that baking powder. Now this is one teaspoon. It's written here, when you come close, you see it. One teaspoon. It's written here when you get your spoon, you check. They have one teaspoon, one tablespoon, half tablespoon, one teaspoon, half teaspoon, you know, one over four teaspoon, one over four tablespoon, and all that. You just check. So this one is one teaspoon. Now, when I'm doing 250 grams, I make use of one teaspoon full, one teaspoon heap full. But you see, I'm doing 200 grams, so I'm not going to heap my one teaspoon so well. So you see, with this, I'll be good. You see it? So I'm going to use this for my 200 grams. I put in my flour. Likewise, this my flour, so I can just use my spoon to just turn it inside. You can sieve it if you want, even if you don't want to sieve, you can still make it of it like that. You can use your spatula, anything dry to turn. I'm just making use of my spoon, that's what I'm holding. Just make sure you mix it very well. So, that's that for that. So you'll be wondering what about the many two eggs. So what we're going to do is, we're going to break the many two eggs and whisk. We're going to make use of the egg and the flour at the same time. We're going to alternate the egg and the flour. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break this. I can make use of my eggs. I break this one with this. I'm going to make use of my hands. So this for our vanilla. I'll do the same here for our strawberry. Remember, always wash your hands before you start all this thing. Hey, don't go and go to the toilet and not come and okay? Without washing your hands, touch my hands and not wash your hands before doing all this. Okay, so I'm going to whisk. So this is how you whisk. I'm holding it because it's not big. It's going to be a big rubber or maybe sit or maybe drop it on my table so I have a very good um, um, position, you know.
and you'll be wondering what about the flavors? You've not added flavor. I always like putting my flavor after mixing my flour, my egg, and everything. So I'm going to put my flavor now. I'm going to be using half teaspoon of each. So let me get my teaspoon. I actually love this flavor so well. So I love putting it in my cake. Mostly my vanilla cakes. Please make emotion. Only with your vanilla flavor, you're good to go, but I just love this. So most times I put it in my vanilla cakes. I don't make use of milk. Some person make it with buttermilk in the cake. If you want to find, you just add this and mix. Why not? When you bake this cake, you see it comes out fluffy. I don't make it of um it's only the call cake softener. One chemical. I don't need to put it in my cake. This is how I bake my cake. Yes, I know I think with flavors. I can add for that flavor, but I don't make it of cake softener. I don't make it of milk. But like I must put milk, don't put milk, you don't know. You when you eat, in fact, when you try it yourself and eat the cake, you discover that you don't even need milk for you to have a very good cake. And also remember that when you add milk to your cake, it makes it get quite on time. So this is our vanilla. Sorry. See it. This is our vanilla cake. Okay, so we'll just take my spatula, scrape together. Okay, so now we want to go, we want to finish our strawberry. So we're going to do the same thing we did for the vanilla. So we'll start with our flour. So now I want to put our flavors. I want to be starting with strawberry cheese, half teaspoon. Now for the strawberry emulsion, I'm going to put in one teaspoon. Like I told you, this is not color, it's like a strawberry extract. So just go to any cake shop, I know they sell industrial flavors and tell them you want strawberry, yes, strawberry emotion. So you see, hmm. if you love strawberry, I think you should really try this cake out, you so love it.
So here we have our strawberry and our vanilla cake. Yes, so we're going to be putting them in our pans. Okay, we've already greased the pan with butter and we've dusted the floor. I'm going to do a short video how you can butter your pan or grease your pan, your pan with your butter and dust. I'm going to be doing it alongside with how you make use of your skill. Okay, so what we need to do now is just do the excess and put our cake. I don't line your pants. So remember, like, ah, the cake comes out so fine. You line your pants. I think I don't. I don't line my pants. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now, when we Make sure you make it up. so many pans. If you're baking a size 8 cake, bake like four. Bake in batches is better. It comes out fluffy and bakes faster. So always learn to share your butter. Don't pack everything in one pan. No, 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 no. It actually affects your cake very well. It affects the end results of your cake. Okay, so that's all that. Please make sure. You do your practice so you see the end result yourself. Just add the two to this. Okay, so I'm going to be combining these two together. Thank you. Like, huh? how do you have strawberry on one side and you have vanilla in the other side? So this is how I do it. vanilla cake is runny. Now if it's not oil based, you know they added buttermilk to it. To me, with or without buttermilk, the cake comes out very fine, very well, fluffy and tasty. As far as you're making the right recipe, the end result is what matters. That's the truth. You see that our cakes are runny, you know most of the ingredients of buttermilk. Because you know buttermilk is liquid, so like you're turning um, liquid sauce into your cake, so it makes it lighter. But that doesn't really, does really change the fact that with or without it, your cake comes out very well and very, very nice. So that's that. Okay, so you see this is our cake. Our batter, not yet baked. I've got to put on the oven. So we are putting it in the oven like less than two minutes. I don't know if it's pre the oven. You must preheat your oven before you put your cake. You don't just Mix your butter, put it in your pan, a grease pan, and just open your oven, put it before lighting your oven. No, you must light your oven, preheat it for like preheat it for like two minutes. It depends on your oven, two or three minutes, and you bake at a very low temperature. Not too low, but not high. It's better it stays longer than it comes out early and gets burnt. Okay? And I also steam bake. Now the time you put steam baking, what you're baking, you put water in a pot or in a bowl or in your oven, but under the rack you're putting your cakes. Not the same rack you're putting your cakes. You understand now? My oven is like three layers. So the first layer is where I usually put my water. I can make it like a pot, a small pot, something flat, but it's stainless, so not rubber, so it doesn't get burned, it doesn't melt in your oven. You put it under, so it controls the temperature. Regulate the temperature of your oven so you end up getting a very beautiful and fluffy cake. So now I'm going to put the cake in the oven. Let's say in 30 minutes time, I'm going to be checking it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the cake. Now these are cakes. You see? Now this is the pot I said you use for steam bake. You see this? A non stickable pot. I just pour this just water inside. You put it. You see the the, the layer actually kept the pan and the pot with the water. Now I can bake. On this rack and on this rack, so I'm going to be baking on this rack. Since it's just only these three cakes, okay? So that's all we're done. I'm going to bring it up. Okay. Now you see our cakes are ready. It's baked like um 35 minutes or thereabouts in the oven. Now you see, 
Okay, let's say 40 minutes. I check after 35 minutes, I let go like 10 more minutes. So, you see? Okay, cakes so you see how soft they are. Now, this is how you know your cake is baked. You put skewer, you put it, you see it comes out clean. No stain of cake on the body, you see it? That's how you know they are baked, you see? You see how soft, and we're going to be turning them. You get it, but this is how you turn your cake. Clean board. You flip over. You see, you see how beautiful it is? Now you flip back. I'm going to do the same for this. You see our vanilla, see? You see the under the bottom of our cake? So we'll do the same for this. Don't, don't turn the way I did it just now. I'm used to turning. Make sure you turn the way I was turning before. You put your board on top and flip over. So you see our cakes are ready now. You see? You see how soft see? See? You see them? I told you with or without buttermilk, once you have the right recipe, you will have a very good result. You see it? See how soft our cakes are. See? You see? You see? So your butter does not really need to be runny, like very light. You need to have a very soft and fluffy cake. Just make sure you make it of the right recipe. You get a very good result. The right recipe and right steps. That's all you need to get a very good result. So thank you very, very much for staying with us, tuning into this today's class, for signing in. So we'll be doing the red, red, and the chocolate cake tomorrow.